as we know the individual company is a separate entity but still some uh, people in the top management able to influence the company and take the negative return out of it and so for example in case of satyam so do we need to bring some more regulation in order to stop this or it is a i don't think that you can really you know this is such an ingenious crook you know that they you have to realize that there will be there are crooks in every society and the job is to catch them it doesn't necessarily require more regulation we have enough regulation but this was such an ingenious we don't even know it now we'll find out slowly but presently i would say you can do a few things for example i'm on the number of boards i'm on the several audit committees and we have to go by what the auditors say so what you can do is you can make the internal audit more independent till about 70% of indian companies have internal audit by internal auditors meaning their employees are the company you can ensure you can insist that this should be outside people and it should report directly to the audit committee those kinds of things but by and large in the satyam type of case you cannot prevent it and you should not I mean, this is a very unusual situation. I would have laws for a million people, not for one person. That one person will always be there. Well, I would only say that uh, the it's very, very important. Certainly, if there is a lesson in, in the Satyam drama, it is the importance of being honest, of integrity. and it's the only thing of value at the end of the day that people remember you not for what a bright report you wrote or that you got market share for a while for your company they remember you for integrity for your character so is it not possible we will ask the corporate to adopt the schools and so that they can extend their csr activities uh, you know corporates should do their own job it's hard enough to make money it's hard enough to make money and frankly csr is a nice word but the truth is that a company should not devote too much time and effort to that after all it's not your as a managing director it's not my money is the shareholders money shareholders don't want me to spend a lot of my money on csr they want a return for their investment the purpose csr if it helps my company to make a profit then you do csr otherwise frankly all this it should not in fact the word should not be csr it should be isr every individual's responsibility is to do philanthropy is to do charity work it is not the corporate sector responsibility to do that in other words i am i would be i am against reliance spending its money doing csr but mukesh and anil they must spend their money in this because that's their money reliance money is not their money reliance money also belongs to shareholders and shareholders if you told the shareholders oh we are spending all our money doing csr you think they would like it you as a shareholder would you like it no so schools let professionals run schools it's a professional activity and let's not depend too much on this fuzzy wuzzy csr